Good morning, or depending when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name is Ross, and as always told, out of voice the radio. So today, we need to look at the return of a card that we desperately needed, and is going to instantly transform the format the second it's legal for tournament play. And no, I don't say that lightly. Tool Scrapper's back. We're literally just getting a reprint of Tool Scrapper. It's a card that came out quite a while ago, and now it's back. And it's awesome, and it is definitely going to become pretty much a staple in pretty much every deck. You see, what it does for newer players, you discard up to two Pokemon tools attached to Pokemon in play, either yours or your opponent's. One of the cool things about Tool Scrapper is it does let you replace your own tools, and remember, that's a pretty big deal. There are plenty of games out there, something like Transformers, you can just replace an upgrade with another one. Something like Keyforge, you can actually put multiple upgrades on the same creature. But in Pokemon, you can't. You are allowed one tool per Pokemon, and when you have a tool on there, you are not allowed to play another tool unless there is a way to get rid of that tool. Oh look, it's Tool Scrapper. And the reason why this is such a gigantic deal that this is being reprinted is because we've not had any tool removal since we hit the rotation. Now look. Technically speaking, I know we actually did have a little bit of tool removal. I know we've had Faba, but come on, is anyone actually going to try arguing with me that Faba was a good replacement for something like Tool Scrapper? No! Choose a Pokemon Tool Special Energy card or any stadium in play. It was only a Tool or Special Energy attached to your opponent's Pokemon, incidentally, not your own. And place them in the Lost Zone. It's a supporter. There, that basically ruined it. And I know that sounds harsh, but it basically did. Faber still sees a little bit of play. I mean, Auron Guru decks that try and get set up so that they're drawing a whole bunch of cards with stuff like Pidgeotto or Zeb Striker have the luxury of being able to use a supporter like this because they're drawing enough cards using Pokemon that they don't need to worry too much about supporters. And because they're playing Guru that can continually recover their cards, they can actually turn one Faber into infinite Faber. Okay, that's quite cool. But that's about it. That's about the only one that played it. Outside of that, we've not been playing Tool Removal. For a while, we had Tool Scrapper, and Tool Scrapper was good. And we had Startling Megaphone, and for a little while, we were actually choosing between them and expanded. We still are. Startling Megaphone discarded all tools attached to each of your opponent's Pokemon. And they were Flash, Fire, and Dragon's Exalted, so they weren't a million miles apart in terms of dating. And then we lost them, but it wasn't a big deal because we had Field Blower. And Field Blower let you choose two in any combination of Pokemon tool and stadium cards in play, yours or your opponents, and discard them. And in Expanded at the moment, this is the option because it also gets rid of Stadium. I'm not saying that every Expanded deck chooses Field Blower. I am saying that the average Expanded deck chooses Field Blower. Or to put it a different way, more Expanded decks choose Field Blower by a fairly large margin than Tool Scrapper or Megaphone. And to be fair, right, looking objectively, Tool Scrapper is objectively worse than Field Blower. They are basically the exact same card, except Field Blower lets you get a stadium if you want, Tool Scrapper doesn't. It is literally a worse Field Blower. But again, I mean, we talked about this a lot recently, right? Vitality Band is literally a worse version of Muscle Band. That is inarguable because it's half of a Muscle Band. Similarly, we saw that Air Balloon is an objectively worse Floatstone because it reduces your retreat cost by two rather than getting rid of it entirely. But all of this is irrelevant, right? Because we don't have Floatstone, we don't have Muscle Band, we don't have Field Blower. It is interesting to me that Pokemon are choosing to release deliberately nerfed versions of popular item cards. I think this is a deliberate choice to basically weaken item cards and make them a little bit less important. But the emphasis is essentially onto Pokemon rather than item cards, which is fair enough. But my point here is, we need this. It is desperately important, and it is going to make a huge impact, because tools are no longer safe. 
And the best way that I can explain this really is with Jirachi and a skateboard. There's a bunch of tools that see play at the moment, but the tool at the moment is a skateboard on Jirachi, by far the most prevalent and the most important of them. So essentially, Jirachi's got a phenomenal ability, and I'm sure you're all aware of, whereby you look at the top five cards of your deck, find a trainer card, put it in your hand, and Jirachi goes to sleep. But it's got a retreat cost of one, and a skateboard reduces the retreat cost of the Pokemon to which it is attached by one, and lets you retreat even if you're asleep or paralyzed. So basically, a skateboard with Jirachi, it's a match made in heaven. It's no coincidence that they were released basically fairly similar to each other. And they're a few sets apart, but hey-ho. Now, a skateboard is actually going to be rotating, but not before this comes out. And here's the thing. I see lists all the time where Jirachi plays two a skateboard. Two a skateboard! It's taking the mick! And the reason that Jirachi can afford to take the mick with two a skateboard is because no one's getting rid of them. So you only need to play two. Now, as a side note, the alternative here is U-turn board, and U-turn board goes back to your hand when it is discarded from play. So if you do drop a tool scrapper and get rid of a U-turn board, it doesn't matter. U-turn board goes back to your hand. You can play it again. It doesn't really matter. But for things like a skateboard, it's going to be an absolutely huge deal. Something like Spell Tag. Spell Tag can ruin games. Spell Tag, you attach it to a psychic Pokemon, and if that psychic Pokemon is KO'd by damage from an attack, they get to drop four damage counters on your Pokemon anywhere they like. Well, now all of a sudden you can drop a Tool Scrapper to get rid of Spell Tag before Spell Tag actually activates, and then you don't get all of that damage. And that's kind of the point here. You're ruining your opponent's plans. And the biggest change that we're really going to see here is that all of a sudden your opponent's got to try harder. It used to be that they could go, you know what, let's just wing it. I only need a couple of these because I know my opponent is going to be all right with it. Well, <laughs> no more, ladies and gentlemen, no more. And that's what's so good about this. And maybe it is going to be something simple like getting rid of spell tag or getting rid of a vitality band or getting rid of an air balloon but maybe you can completely ruin their day i mean one of my favorite uses for this is going to be big charm now this reminds me extremely very very much of fighting fury belt fighting fury belt you put it on a basic pokemon it gave them an extra 40 hp and meant that they did an extra 10 damage and sometimes you wouldn't actually get a ko because of the Fighting Fury belt, but that didn't matter, because they would have enough damage to be KO'd if they lost the Fighting Fury belt, and then you remove it, and then you get a mid-turn KO. And if you can get a mid-turn KO on a two or three prize Pokemon, draw two or three cards from your prizes, and then do it again, you might be able to end the game right there and then. Or maybe you do something like get rid of their lucky egg, and then you get a KO, but they don't draw until they've got seven cards in hand because you got rid of their lucky egg. And now they're actually not in a position to respond to your KO. And that ends the game. And that's kind of my point here. There is so much that you can do to ruin your opponent's plan. Get rid of a spell tag, they don't get a KO and they end up losing the game. Get rid of Lucky Egg and they don't get to draw cards and they end up losing the game. Get rid of a big charm to take a mid-turn KO followed by another KO and then they're unable to respond and they end up losing the game. We've got Pokemon tools at the moment that we are taking advantage of. I mean, here's a fun interaction, right? Island Challenge Amulet reduces the amount of HP of the Pokemon GX to which it is attached by 100 but then they give up one less prize. And this is very, very common. People would put this on something like an Oracorio on the bench. Well, okay, I'm putting my Oracorio down to 70 HP, but now I only give up one prize rather than two. Tool Scrapper it, KO Oracorio, two prizes. There are certain things we take for granted at the moment, like the Island Challenge Amulet interaction, like that we're going to get damage from Spell Tag, like our Jirachi can retreat with a skateboard. And we take them for granted because we know our opponent doesn't really have a good way of getting rid of our tools. And we build our deck with fewer numbers of these tools because we're, we're complacent. And we've earned that complacency 
by just not having these cards. Things are changing, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, this is a five wassy card, right? This is a game-changing card. We're going to have to build our decks a little bit differently because of this. But I'd like to hear from you guys now. What tools are you looking forward to getting rid of? What strategies do you think this is going to ruin? Tell me in the comment section. Go nuts. But do remember the rule, would you? Be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wassy, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash PTCG Radio. If you want to support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and all that good stuff, head on over to patreon.com slash PTCG Radio where you can do exactly that. And please do make sure you're checking out youtube.com slash wassyplays, where you can find out about a whole bunch of games that don't have Pokemon in, but are awesome nonetheless. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would you? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.